So basically, what you're trying to tell me is I don't have a heart? Exactly. And what, I've, I've got a day to live? 24 hours, precisely. I don't understand. How can I not have a heart? I have no idea. There must be something I can do, like... I think it might be a good time to say goodbye to people that you care about. I'm very sorry, Ryan. I'm here, look. Here's my card, if, if you need anything. Look. Dr. Shrooms, if you lose something, you can find it again. Like, if I lost my heart, there is a chance that I could find it. R Ryan, I don't know. Look, I'm an avid writer, and I'm sure that I could find where I left it if I just read through all my journals. Listen, look, I've got a memory, and I think that might be where I left it. My, I, w I walked into the bedroom, and my wife, Maggie, was there. You shouldn't seem so surprised, Rylan. I've been trying to talk to you about this since we got married and you just don't listen. I don't know what you're expecting to happen. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm leaving and you have nothing to say to make me stay. Do you even care? If you ever decide to put your heart into this, I'll be at my mom's. If not, sign those papers and let's be done. That's it, right? No, I don't think so, but it's ironic that your wife... Now what? I don't know, I guess. Try digging deeper. I'm sorry. Your dad and I have been fighting so much lately. Sometimes married people have disagreements. But you don't need to worry. Your dad and I have made a commitment to ourselves. And we'll figure it out. I promise. Pick up.
It's me. Please don't hang up. I never understood how much my past could affect my future. <laughs> and how much it ended up affecting you. I'm so sorry it took me so long to tell you how I really feel. But I love you, Maggie. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs>